Welcome back to another episode of Knock Stiff Golf. Today we're going to be talking about this little tool we're all familiar with and how it's probably ruining your putting. So there's no shortage of golfers that are marking up their balls this way. From the amateurs to professionals, we've seen it all on TV, uh, especially when it comes down to Tiger Woods. Whenever they show that worm eye view of his putts, uh, you'll see that he has a line drawn with the path that the ball is going to take. So all you really need is a Sharpie and some way to draw that line on your ball. It's very simple. So let's discuss the biggest issue I see with this in amateurs, including myself they don't line it up correctly. Yes, the alignment aid that is on here, they're not lining it up right. And let me tell you why. How many times have you sat behind your ball lining up your putt, you've read it perfectly, you know exactly what it's gonna do, and then you take your stance over top of the ball and it looks like it's aimed nowhere near where you thought you lined it up to. I did this so often that I just frankly stopped doing it altogether. I was setting my putts up what I thought was the correct line, got over top, and then I would get all this doubt in my head because it either looked like it was aimed too far right, too far left, or I didn't set the ball correctly so it was kind of off center. There's a multitude of things that could have gone wrong, but all it did was introduce doubt into my head before putting. And that's about the worst thing you can do. So I quit altogether for a long time. Then later in this last season, I kind of said, hey, every pro does this, just about. I won't say every pro, but why are they doing this? They don't do things for the most part that don't benefit their game or haven't got them to where they are today. So I said, hey, let's, let's go back and try it and try to figure this out a little bit better. So this led me to come up with my own version of how I do it, and I'm sure there's about a million variations that people do on the golf course every day, but let me walk you through exactly what I do. Step one, use the Line'em Up Pro or anything similar to this tool to draw a straight long line on the side of your golf ball. Step two, squat behind your ball to help visualize the path your ball will take. Step three, line your ball up with the spot or apex point that will help your ball take the path you envision. Step four, grab your putter and with your dominant eye, use the shaft to draw a line from the indicator on your ball down the path your ball will take, much like the sights on a rifle. Step five is then you just simply adjust the ball so that looking down the putter shaft, the ball line matches the spot or apex point you picked out. Lastly, step up knowing that you have lined your ball up correctly, no matter what your eyes tell you standing over the putt. So after that's completed, you simply need to roll the putt with confidence, and I'm not saying every putt will go in, but you have a much better chance knowing that you're lined up correctly. This kind of brings me to two things that I want to mention. Doing five steps to kind of get your putt lined up each putt is kind of a time waster, so you're going to need to be efficient when you get on the greens. Um, hopefully you're just hitting all your shots way closer than anybody you're playing with, so you're putting last, and that gives you plenty of time to line up your putt, figure out the line that you're going to be taking, and you're not going to be holding up any golfers. The last thing I want to do as a golfer is slow down my playing partners, or in a tournament, whatever it may be. So this requires you to practice this, take this to the putting green, and get this dialed in so it takes you as little time as possible because you really don't want to come into next season and everybody notices you're doing something new and it takes you forever to do. It's the quickest way to not get invited back. Secondly, this will not fix a bad putting stroke. I hate to say it, but if you have something mechanical wrong with your putting stroke, you need to get that fixed before this is gonna fix too much in your, your putty. And, and, and I say that loosely because I really don't believe in any kind of strict putting guidelines. I've seen people with awful strokes make more putts than I could ever imagine, and I've seen people with great strokes never seem to make any. So putting is one of those kind of relative topics where I think confidence and visualization and uh, just simply, simply as making it simple it's you're rolling a ball into a hole. You don't need to get into too many swing thoughts while you're doing this to help you putt well. It's all about confidence, seeing the line, and just sending the ball there. You don't need to write 
30 bucks on it, even though there's way more than that. So. Mm -hmm. So to wrap this all up, I used this for the better half of last season and I really saw my success rate go up in probably around the six to 10 foot putt range. Uh, I would line it up just how I described earlier and I would step up over the putt and even if it looked a little off to me, I knew I had set it up correctly. So it allowed me just to say, hey, let's just putt it and I will say that my putts went in far more often than expected with this technique. And so obviously it's not a 100% success rate, nothing ever is. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. But I encourage you to take this to your putting green, maybe even in your carpet at home, and just kind of practice it a little bit. See if it kind of changes the way you think about putting and how you're lining stuff up. And I think you'll really enjoy stepping up to a putt knowing you've lined up correctly. So. As always, thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Knock Stiff Golf. Like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. And I look forward to putting out a few more videos, and I'm going to see you guys out on the course here in the next few months. All right, peace.